Now, your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Welcome back. Had a great time today out at World Gospel Church out on the east side of Terre Haute talking to the senior adult group. You see them all there. Had a good turnout on a hot day. We talked about extreme weather, kind of a fitting topic today. Uh, extreme weather here in the Midwest and uh, across the Wabash Valley. So I want to say hi to all those fine folks out at the World Gospel Church. Had a great time out there. We did talk about the heat, and we do have a heat advisory in effect as we thought we would have for tomorrow, the holiday. It's everybody. Technically goes in effect at noon till 8 p.m. So tomorrow, when you're going to be out and about, remember heat advisory. Heat index values will be around 105 to maybe a little bit higher than that across the area. It's going to be hot and humid. We hit 92 just a little while ago, just 9 degrees away from the record set back in 2012. 74, very muggy early on this morning. We picked up just a few raindrops a little while ago. A little storm passed near this area. Not really much measurable rain, but it knocked the temperature down quite a bit. So that's one thing these storms are doing is also knocking the temps down. Sunrise tomorrow morning if you're going to be up early. Tomorrow evening, and by the way, when they say dusk on fireworks, as you can see, the sun goes down around 9 20. So it doesn't really get dark till close to 10 or 9:45, close to 10. So the sun won't even go down till 9:20 tomorrow. And as far as the uh, daylight tomorrow, we're talking about 14 hours and 53 minutes. 85 degrees in Terre Haute right now, with the relative humidity is high, so the heat index is at 92, and the winds are southeast at about 16 miles per hour. Where it has rained, it is cooler. Where it has not, the temperatures are still up into the 90s. But we have seen quite a few showers across the area. Look at this: the heat index 103, Danville, Paris, also in. Tune down in Florida, but off to the south southeast. The rain has cooled the air down, and it's not all that bad in the southeast. You can see a lot of moisture here, which has been lifting to the north. And last night we were talking about how those storms down to the south would be lifting north with all this moisture. And we see that happening. You can even see the movement of these showers and storms from the south to the north. Check this out from the south off to the northwest, up across the area, and these will continue. There's going to be some heat up here, so these will continue to form for a while. It won't be until later tonight we start to see them die off. Here's the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar. Again, a lot of scattered storms across the area. We start up north. Up here across portions of uh, Park County, some pretty good rain along Highway 36. We had some rain come through portions of Clay County earlier. You can see a few little storms here near Terre Haute and then off to the southwest, south of Marshall here and southern portion of Clark County, Illinois. Also pretty good rain down here across so portions of Knox and Davies County, southern Green County, where they already saw some rain. They're getting a little bit more. So again, quite a few scattered showers and storms, and these will continue for the next few hours off and on. But by later tonight, watch them die off. Then during the day tomorrow, a few may pop in the afternoon, kind of isolated right there. You'll see that. Not a lot, but a few isolated storms are possible in the afternoon. But by fireworks time, everything should be A-OK -okay once again. Then as we get into Thursday, a front moves in. We'll see more scattered showers and storms developing, especially later in the day Thursday. That will tend to break the heat wave force by the weekend. The wind southeast right now. It will change over as we head into Thursday and become more west to northwest. That indicates the front coming through. So here's the front Friday moving through behind it. Look at this. Cooler, less humid for Saturday into Sunday, but the heat tries to build once again by early next week. Temperatures will be warm once again by early next week. But I tell you what, the weekend shaping up pretty nice. So here's the way the forecast looks for tonight. Partly cloudy. Early storms, they will diminish after the sun goes down. 72 for the low. Tomorrow can't rule out an isolated afternoon storm, but look at the high. 93 degrees heat index over 100. Heat advisory for everybody tomorrow. After that, we still got a hot day on Thursday with a cold front moving in. Scattered showers. A few of those will linger into Friday. But that clears and gives us a real good weekend. 81 on Saturday. 85 on Sunday. We could drop down to 59 degrees by Sunday morning, so it will be less humid. But notice we're right back to 90 by next Tuesday. But definitely a break by the weekend from the heat and humidity. Could use a break. We could. Well, it's going to be a hot one, though. Well, uh, Grant has gone inside to do inside. some sports reporting. First, we're tonight. sitting with the Grand Marshal, though. What a big yeah. day tomorrow. Lenten From Lenten, parade. we'll be yeah. there but tomorrow. Yeah, you, normally, 4th of July, you think baseball, apple pie. We're talking basketball. I'm going to wave at Jess, and I just you <laughs> right? know, can only hope that he'll wave at the pass. <laughs> right, it's a big day, but normally you, you think of that with basketball. Oh, yeah. You don't really think basketball.